Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to round number two of this best of three in the Razor League of Legends tournament here at the 10th anniversary of Sugarland in Leuven. I'm not going to forget it this time. And uh, we have Benko and ECV ready to go for this next matchup. So, how are you feeling, man? Short break. We had a, a short a, break. We didn't a, even get the chance boss. to get ourselves some coffee, but should be taken care of. Gull is on duty. He'll get us sources, uh, so we'll kinda, be fine. Kind of too late to ask for sugar right now, but I'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> ah, so, we, yeah, we've got the bands already on the way. It's Lissandra, Lulu, and Echo taken away, so we're missing this, the third L. Yeah, Lissandra, Lulu, Lucian. Yes. They, they changed up Lucian for Echo. Uh, so they saw the performance out of the Echo, he was just 1v2ing uh, pretty much like from mid-game till the end. Yes, it was just getting ridiculous, just picking off the squishies easily peasy and just holding its own against the, against the bursties and, uh, and the tanks, it was, uh, ow. Yeah, that was kind of painful. So, and now on the other side they've banned Azir, Morgana and Trundle. So Morgana is a bit of a mix-up because they had that one... Yeah, they had that one last game, and they picked Thresh against. So they want to get rid of that Morgana. They don't want to deal with it again, and they're actually going to first pick the Thresh. So like, okay, now now you don't have the Morgana. No more Black Shield, no more shenanigans, and we should be fine with this Thresh pickup. So, yep. my guess is, uh, oh, yeah, I, I, guess. I was I was going to say like a Braum or something, maybe not. I was pretty sure they were going to go for a Leona or a Braum, just something to counter that. Uh... Leona is a pretty good counter pick against Thresh because you can just oh you're going for my carry well I'll go for your carry and then we'll we'll be at scratch we'll be it's, starting with scratch. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's a bit iffy. I mean, uh, you can deny Leona Zenith Blade with the flay out of Thresh. So when she tries to engage on you or your AD carry, you can flay her back and deny that engagement. So that helps. Uh, but you know, I I personally I, I like Leona. It's it's oh oh what happens. Well, what happened, guys? Help! Did he forget to pick a champion or what? <laughs> Clients. Oh, client bug. Alright, yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, Alright. Oh, well, it happens, guys. Client crashed. Nothing, uh, nothing new here. Yeah, so that happened. So, they were still hovering over what to pick. Uh, they had the Leona. <laughs> Guys trolling in chat. <laughs> totally. Okay. So we are gonna wait for a little bit until our last guy, Jin Wu, was the one who left that game. So we're gonna wait till he gets back here and um, wait fairly soon. So yeah, that's gonna be quite interesting. So they did pick up the thrash again, they got the Graves Jungle. Uh the other team went for the Lucian first pick. So they mixed it up a bit. Um However, look, uh, we're going to see Thresh once again. Uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, like, Night Sniper, he was doing pretty well. It was like early game, he he missed a couple pretty crucial. Yeah, on the mid lane, uh, like them, but he, he fixed it up so fast and just landed yeah. those, 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 those clutch hooks he just landed. Uh, just, he just didn't get demotivated because he missed some in the early game. But, well, it's his favorite champion, so I didn't expect any less, to be honest. Yeah. So we are back in into it, and... We're gonna do the same bands and uh, the same first picks, so nothing gets changed up or anything weird. Uh, Echo, Lissandra, Lulu, I think, and it's here, Morgana. Trundle, 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 Trundle was the last one. I, they're, they're actually thinking of, over it as well. It's like, what was the last one? There you go, Trundle. Trundle. So, it's gonna be curious to see uh, what their third pick was gonna be, because I think the Leona was. Kind of secured and wanted to go for that champion. So, what is Yufu yeah. gonna pick here? Gonna going in, Yufu going for me, guys. <laughs> you know what's the pick? Resident Sleeper. Oh, a little long. Okay, so they're gonna take that away <laughs> from Death Rib. You are not gonna play that one again. Thank so you. So, Death Rib is probably gonna go for what's his face again? The guy with the laser. Victor. Victor, yes. Could be. Could be. We haven't seen him actually this weekend, so it's been more like the Ari. We've seen the Lulu once today, but she's banned away, so it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Corky mid lane, we have seen a couple times. But there's still a lot of options open. I'm going to play Corky though against the LeBlanc. Sure. Victor. <laughs> 
I wonder if, if he's gonna go for the Lux. Maybe. Like to show, <laughs> to show him like, okay, man, you had you had an okay Lux game, but this is how you play Lux. <laughs> you know, oh, maybe, maybe. I'd like to show wondering. off. Could be. He's actually quite uh, an offense or so. It seems to what to pick. Uh, Ezreal. Ezreal. Could be. Could be. Effort. Please. I mean, Azrael is, is like a nice pick against Leone. He's gonna lock it in. And Fiora being locked in for the top laner. So, after that ban, there's a couple of bans like lasanda has gone, Echo's gone, Trotnell has gone. Uh, or is, is, I think, his most played champion or champion his best performance on. But after the nurse, well, we talked about it regularly during the party because we were kind of confused, like, why are people still banning Fiora? Cause... Yeah, because she's not as crazy as she used to be. Yeah. Be. So he's going to pick it up. So I am really curious about the performance. I really want to see how he does. Uh... Yes. Poppy could go pretty crazy if he gets, like, a kill or two and be very annoying. And a bar. Kindred. Oh, Kindred. Oh, my bad. Well, I, it's just a reflection of the monitor. I was like, oh, Bard. No, Kindred. <laughs> kindred, my bad. Yeah, let's shove back over later so you can see properly because it's like. Eh. Rough. So. Ooh, oh, okay, wait. I need so... to do something, guys. Kin kindred hype. Nah, it's. I mean, That's like bad. last game, it was like. It still had the early game pressure, but the ultimate was a little bit less impactful. So I do feel like those changes uh, have helped. Kindred's still pretty viable, but it's just uh, not as crazy as it was. So I'm happy for that. But it's going to be a Maokai, not a Poppy. So Maokai versus Fiora in this whole lane, which is a fairly good matchup. I mean, Maokai has a lot of sustain. So it should be okay, especially in the early game. Oh, wait, it's a rise in the mid lane as a final pick for Death Rip. That's something else. I like this. I like where this is going. I haven't seen as we're this in this combo yet, and uh, neither have I seen a rise. So, like, I, you missed the games then, because <laughs> I, yeah. I have seen them. I I know, I'm jealous. I, I, was doing, I was doing interviews. Okay. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Eh. I was talking with fun people, so that's okay. It's okay. You, you can say to Jeeves like, "Ah, oh, man, we saw Fiora game. It was awesome." <laughs> <laughs> Don't be well. like that. It feels bad, man. So that that's, does it for the champions select. So we do have uh, some pretty nifty champions here. We have Maokai in top lane, Kindred Jungle, uh, LeBlanc mid lane, Leona support, and Lucian Carrion should actually say them uh, the other way around, but that's all right. So <laughs> that's the champions locked in here for Vanko. And on the other side, we have the Fiora top lane, Graves in the jungle, Rise mid lane, Azrael as AD carry, and Thresh once again as the support. So. A lot of changes in the team compositions. It's, it's like very different, at least from what we saw last game. I mean, Vanko went for like the poke comp, didn't really work out that well. Uh, and I mean, ACP has something totally different that they had last game. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty curious to see how it goes. Ah, same here. I mean, uh, oh, before before I start rambling even more, don't forget to change the left side in a minute because they're quite scrambled. Uh, yeah, they are. Like, yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's just, oh yeah, ECV is, is is helpful to me and and Benko. They they love the casters. <laughs> they love the casters. <laughs> Caster fields. So we are into the team in the delay. I'm gonna go into a little bit more depth uh, in the first couple of minutes of this game because we have a, a little break here. So uh, for you guys at home, uh, keep watching. Uh, have a little drink, and we'll be back to you after a little short break with some music. Not sure which music is going to come, but I think drum and bass, so drum and bass hype! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Gentlemen, on the left side we have Venko Gaming Black, and on the right side we have ECV facing off in this exciting battle of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're making it really dramatic, man. Oh, ah, come man. on, you just need to put some <laughs> little flair and dra drama into it. I mean, you're please. the drama llama. I'm the I'm the serious guy. All all work, no play. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm no racial though, but I'm the black guy for comic relief. From time to time. <laughs> Good, good, good. We need that sometimes, you know. But <laughs> anyway, anyway, to get back to work. Yes. We are into the second game of this best of three uh, semi-final. Almost that final, but you know, it's not, it's not that time yet, just yet. So it is one two nil for EC Visualize, and uh, they're gonna go up against the team of Venko Gaming once again. If uh, if Venko can come back into this, so like we said earlier, a bit. Well, a completely different team comps. So no more poke. It's a lot of team fight heavy uh, composition for both the sides. I mean, you have like you have Ryze and Fiora, uh, but they need a bit of scaling. But definitely in the mid to late game, uh, they do some hefty damage. And also you have like you have, you have the Kindred once again. And you have like Le Leona and Maokai who are those yep. team fight brawlers, but putting down uh, a lot of AOE, uh, CC, and damage reduction. Also rides with the low cooldown spamming and actually getting quite tanky in the late game as well. So, oh. uh, that's that, yeah, that, that's going to be quite a, a worry for uh, team of Fanko maybe. So we'll have to see how it goes. So, um, bit of, bit of aggressiveness fighting here in the bottom lane, but Night Sniper actually misses his hook. Past that last minion and couldn't get the hook onto uh, onto Chumzo. But hey, they got both got some harassing on the on both sides, so that's uh, that's not too bad. Like usually in this matchup, Leona wants to wait until she's level three. Like so, you have all of your abilities available. You have to you have to shield, so you can be can be a bit more tankier. And you have both of the CC abilities available. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna get harassed by the Thresh and. Not really able to do all that much. Oh, beautiful hook landed swing into has to dash away. Night Sniper getting pretty darn low. Flash and it goes in for the Ignite. Azrael putting down some pokes and take oh, oh. first blood goes to Yofo picking off Night Sniper. Eh, bot twist. Awkward. It, it <laughs> is a bit, but maybe Sliver Me. can do his best here to get that second kill, but he is angels. He has to back off now. Please, back off. Oh, no, he gets caught out. Pops the heal, but 
is able to flash away to safety. <laughs> Angel's getting dangerously low, though. They both have to back off. Yeah, pretty mm. close stuff there, but a lot of summoners popped. Like, both bottom lanes have none more anymore available, so they will have some return ganks, I would expect, from the junglers. So, it is the first blood going to the side of, uh, of Venko. However, it is onto the support, so it's not ideal. Uh, while Sliver did get a kill for himself. So, it's a bit even, I guess, uh, in the end. But nevertheless, a lot of action early on, but what can you expect with a uh, Leona and Yo. a Thresh? Ubain going down on Defra, but Seda doesn't really have anything to follow up just yet. Does not, and... Well, he is going to go for another proke here, <laughs> doing quite some damage on his Defra, so he has to be a bit careful. Returning the favor from the last game, or so it seems. Yeah, for sure, and... Oh. Yes. Yeah, well, wants to take a quick peek, but it is Jinwu who has the favorable trade so far. Oh, actually, Ooh. Zed has got a burst down. Okay, there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Yes, we're gonna do it. Quick. There. Touch pro. Oh, Defrip goes in quite aggressively, trying to get in some more poke. Gets in, into that stun and then just. Dies to that. Oh, Ignite slowly man. but surely. Mm -hmm. Ignites and a minion damage as well. So yep. nasty. That's that's pretty painful. So at least uh, Zelda is doing a very good job here, keeping Death Rip down for now. And uh, that was a nice play out of him. Good moves. So if you look at the CS right now, it is pretty even, Steven, all around. Uh, just Norb who has a small lead on CS. Otherwise, it's it's pretty even. So. Mm. Not much to say about that, and also in gold it is uh, actually dead even, so that's pretty nice. Gonna get harassed here by Nob. Both clear all the wards. <laughs> Clearing wards. And another one. Battle of the wards. That's the first time I can actually be like really commentating about war <laughs> ward fair. But I'm on a roll Probably. today. I don't know what it is. Can I, can I can I get a cost replacement, anybody? No? Oh, uh, I'm just slowly less, back away. Less, less puns. Eh, don't be so rude. <laughs> get, get out of here, freak. You know. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> some, uh, some back and forth still in the bot lane is they kind of showed their teeth both sides to each other, and now they're kind of like in that awkward moment of the eh. Yeah. Night yeah. sniper and sliver, please. Don't, 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 don't show off. So they are pretty busy, but meanwhile, um, they do pick up this Rift Herald here, I think. Should be okay. Zeravit does get quite low, but it should be fine. No yep, worries. There, there we go. go. That's pretty nice. So they give that off to Norb, so he gets some movement speed, some extra damage. He can buff minions, so he can help push wave uh, waves if need be. Um, but I, I think he's most likely going to use it to just clear, to clear some more camps and maybe get a gank in here and there. Mm. So, I mean, the thing is here, for each of Visualize, they need to scale up. They have two tiers right now, uh, both on Ryze and Ezreal, which is pretty logical, as the hook got pretty close there to Chumzo. But dashing away quite nicely. Well, mm. Yufu missed his <laughs> as well, so... <laughs> Rips. You know, it happens, it happens. But yeah, so they need to scale up. They need to stack up the tiers. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not tiers of pain or anything, you know. Mm. But uh, they, need to, they need to stack them up and wait till... Uh, or mid on late game uh, team fights. That's one of the biggest reasons why I feel that Vanko is having the upper hand. Ooh, we're gonna have a fight here in about late. Ooh, gets pulled into the turret, takes the hit, but gets away in time because uh, Chumzer is getting in aggressive as well, so they had no choice to back off. Close. I gotta be, you gotta be careful from those hooks. If you, you usually get hit when you least expect it to, so. I mean that's that's what he's trying to do, you know. <laughs> that's, that, that's the plan at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's Ult's the level coming six. down. Night sniper has to flash away, but gets burned by that ult and eventually gets picked up by Chumzor. And Chumzor bursting that ult, trying to get Ezreal, but Ezreal is not having any of that and just boop away. Yeah, instant engage when they became level six. Uh, that's well, that's pretty much the time for Leonia. Want to go in? 
get that ultimate down. Usually you try to pop Thresh first, because if you go for the AD carry, Thresh just, uh, uses his lantern uh, and brings them back to safety. So mm -hmm. that's why you tend to go for him first, especially with the Ezreal there as well. I mean, yeah. he can arc and shift out of the, uh, of the ultimate. So pretty much everyone, everyone on the side of Vanko is going to have back to base, except for Angels. Going to pick up that Skull of Crab. At least that's the plan. But here is uh, Death Rip. He's going to deny it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, because, of course, it would have given him another stack. Uh, and you ra well, you'd rather not give that away too soon. He should have contested it a bit more, to be honest. I mean, maybe. It is, it is risky. I mean... Rise still, although he needs to scale up, he has quite some damage. Plus, he could have had some backup, which, yep. which he didn't know anything about. Actually, putting on quite some hurt onto uh, Zedit right there. Yeah, he does have the Catalyst Protector, so he gets some more mana. Of course, Rise skills pretty good on mana. He gets some extra damage the more mana yep. he gets. He has a so, tier already as well. Yeah, so he is, he is getting close <laughs> to scaling up hard. Infinite mana, yes, there we go. So he wants to get like a Rod of Ages afterwards, and then there's a couple of options. But seeing at, that the team comes, um, it's a bit of mixed damage, you know. He could either go for like an Abyssal Scepter uh, to get the extra um, uh, magic resist reduction and the extra tankiness uh, against magic damage uh, to be able to be deal better with his lane opponents. Uh, he could also go for the Frozen Heart, giving him more mana, uh, more cooldown reduction, and a, a lot of armor. Uh, and sometimes you see people go for like the Banshees mm. uh, or the Spirit Fizzards even. Some. Yeah, I, really, I really like those uh, tanky-ish uh, AP cl class. Uh, here, cl champions, wrong games, wrong, wrong games everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, I really like those tanky AP champs. It's just though, you bring damage and tankiness to the table, it's pretty darn cool. And Death Rip going kind of low, Zed 2 is forced to back out real fast. But is able to... Carefully run back to that oh. tower. Ooh, Kindred going in on Nor, but King in the back line. Quaking, TP in the back line. Death Rip coming in. Venko, Jim Woo going in on Death Rip, getting quite low. Ult coming down from Night Knight, but Night Knight getting really low. But that ult from Ezreal picked up Kindred really beautiful. Scissor in the middle. Dancing and take and just taking people down like no tomorrow. Yeesh. Okay, oh, I can, oh, sliver oh, flash. Oh, oh, oh. They are going to yeah. chase him down. They have the wrap off. Oh, yeah. Jimbo yeah, has okay, to flash someone. That it, please. Ah, is that, I don't think. Is he getting. Nope. Oh, oh, he actually gets. No. That oh, it. Wow. With the outplay. Pretty well done wow. there. Wow. Savagery right there. Oh, man. Nope. No, but a bit too greedy. He could have just waited for Sliver to get that kill, but he didn't want to. He wanted to get it for himself and use his Flash to dash out of the damage coming out of Zeta, but no can do. Blup, blup. Uh, Goodbye. Still gets the lead. So, just a nice Hail Mary there for Zeta, getting another kill back into the pocket. But that was a bit of a hectic fight, a lot of TPs, uh, a lot of stuff going on. But in the end, pretty equal trade. It is 6-5 to five in favor of Vanko right now. Uh, I think they had a one kill lead before this as well, so I think it's a equal trade. But however, the goal lead is in the hands of Easy Visualize. They have about a thousand lead here, which is well a bit due to their CSing uh, in the top lane. Yeah, big. That is looking really uh, scary. He just teleported in and he just like chop, 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 chop. People just started dropping like no tomorrow. Yeah, uh, he didn't get any kills, but he got two assists, so mm -hmm. that gives him at least some extra items and some extra gold in his pocket. So he's gonna look a little bit scary. Jesus Christ! Ever please? Yeah, I kind of saw. I saw that fight coming. It's like, oh damn, where is the mid laner? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> where is the, Where are the both mid laners? Gosh. Angels. Actually, Angels is kind of in a position you don't want to be. Oh, uh, looked like he got away, but that ult just boop off off the map. Goodbye. Yeah, so he got the leader pretty quickly there. That was kind of annoying. Zether, he is still having a bit of trouble against Jin Wu. It's just, it's kind of difficult to actually finish him off. Ooh, yeah, nice ooh. job there. Ooh, gets rooted near the tower, taking too much damage and has to, is forced to back off. That support, though. Nice, nice, nice reaction. Uh, goes, woo. Yeah, 
Yeah, right now, if we take a quick look again at the items uh, on the side of Easy Visuals, we do see that Ezreal has finished up that Man Immune. So that's a pretty important one, uh, important part of his kit, and he's close to getting the Frozen Golem, and so that helps. Uh, Rise, on the other hand, still needs to finish his uh, his Roll of Ages. And I'm going to peek at the top lane, actually, because they oh. are going to go for the Engage here. Zetter is dashes onto, <laughs> onto Jimbo, just get away, and eventually just has to flash. But avoided the death. Flash, they got burned though, so he can't be over aggressive anymore. Definitely can't be. Okay, so <laughs> I got a bit sidetracked. So those are a couple of the important item spikes here for the side of East Visualize. And if you look on the other side, like um, Zed, it's is is he went for the uh, for the frost frost queen's claim there, uh, which kind of disappeared. People don't really buy it that often anymore. Uh, but he is most likely going to go for the um, uh, uh, the abyssal scepter. There we go <laughs> for the abyssal scepter. <laughs> like uh, well, like Deathrib did last game. It's it's just a very decent item for the LeBlanc. Decent item, stable choice to start off where you get some damage and you get def defense in return. So well, magic resist in return. Yeah. So that's a pretty nice pickup for them uh, if you finish it. And actually, uh, Jin Wu just finishes some fire cape, so he's going to be able to deal. Pretty okay -ish with Zether. Uh, should be just fine in that 1v1. Ivy is still behind. And actually, he wants to go for an engage onto Death Herb. I think he popped, yeah, he popped his ulti for the movement speed so he could get out of the way quickly there. Kind of a neck and neck race kind of feel. And like, there is like a slight goal difference in favor of ECV, but. Enko is holding on quite strong. Like the laning phase is going on quite long as well. I mean, no towers? No towers. Yeah, that's like that's one of the positive things here for Venko. Last game, they got behind. Oh, Ooh. nice. So can Jufu, but you don't really want to follow up on that one. And Bolt gets thrown down by both of them. Oh, gets totally caught out of position. Ult coming in from Norb from the back, and they actually put down a hurt onto Ezreal gets deleted. Defert from the back, take, taking down Chumzor. But uh, wanna, does he want it? Does he want it? Doesn't look like it. So no. <laughs> he's to visualize like he, they tried to respond with death rip, but he just came in so late that the rest yep. of his team was pretty much dead. So good fight there out of Venko. Nice. The three for one trade, I believe. And oh, Venko is trying to do dragon on his own, but dangerous. Uh, oh boy. Oh, forced to tank the dragon. Mm, nah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to medal. You don't want to medal. Alright, so they take that quite clean. So good fight here from Venko. Getting two more kills uh, than ECV were able to get. And he took a dragon as well. So that puts them back into the game. They were behind, I think they were like behind 2,000 gold. And now it's only like 700. So good job nope. for them. So this game got even closer. Which we personally like, of course. Uh, the more exciting, the more close the game is, the better it is for us. Because, I mean, come on, you don't want to see a stop or anything. Yeah, but basically. It's not enjoyable. Mm, it's just a farming session up top. Yeah. But right now, I mean, it is Zether who's doing the better job out of the out of the two of them. Uh, he is still 36 Ooh, ahead. Hook onto nice jumps hook. old going down. Dash is true. It gets slowed really badly. Ignited. It slowed more. You're trying to move in, get the oh flash, but get oh jumps right into that ult, gets down really, really low, but he still has the ult and oh, oh the snipe, snipe, gusting, <laughs> nice sliver, please. I was gonna think that Zether was in a bit of a trouble in top lane as well, but nothing going wrong just yet. And Jin Wu is gonna clear out that pink board. Oh, but he has to be careful because the whole team. Uh, oh, well, the whole team. The top lane and jungler of ECV are going to respond to him. It's going to be fine. That was some pretty cool stuff once again in the bottom lane. But in the end, Chomzo getting killed by the uh, true shot barrage. And meanwhile, in the mid lane, Wink that is... Oh. that it? Oh, no, oh, he's not he going to get away. He, he took the right one. Yeah. Yeah, it gets chained up there by the uh, runic prison. And nowhere for him to go. So that's a kill here in the hands of Death Rip. And that's definitely not a guy you want to give some kills to. Because he has completed his Rod of Ages now. He is still attacking that's stacking in his Sea of the Goddess. But they are getting closer to their damage spikes right now. Yep. 
That's what happens. It's looking scary as hell. Would you look at that burst going down onto, oh, onto please. angels. Angels popped ult to well save that precious life. Bottom lane turret goes down and they're slowly backing away. Yeah, this should be fine. So right now, uh, Lucian has finished up his uh, sorry his Assassin's Reaver, and uh, that gives him quite some extra damage. It helps out with the mana as well, so with his mana management. So now I think that ECV has to be a bit careful uh, because quite a lot of damage. Slipper, however, has his Frozen Gauntlet, so he can yep. peel for himself pretty nicely. But yeah, it's kind of hard to peel against the Leona. Yeah, Leona just doesn't care anymore. Look, now he popped his E, Ooh. so he has to be careful. There you oh. go. Nice save by Fresh. <laughs> Showing off with that thing. Good, good sidestep, but he yeah. is Norb. Here's Norb. He's just blocking all the damage for Sliver to take up upon. Ooh. Oh, it's Night Sniper going down. But they do take down Chumzor in the act. But is it worth it, though? Because... Yeah, yeah. here it is. That is. But they're not committing. No, they see they see that Rise is rotating. But like, also, okay, it's the minion risky. One. It was risky. And also, they had the main wave on their Ooh, side. Nice juke, that. Ooh, going down, getting Leona quite low, getting slow, but a few latched onto, but so they have to back off. I, I like the engage and disengages here. It's like they're just looking for fights here. Just like this again, Death Rip just be standing under that tower. Oh no! Oh, Death no. Rip! Death Rip! Oh! Oh my god, oh. so risky! Oh. Goes for the dive again. I was like, okay, Kindred does not have ultimate, but she does have enough damage and got out of the way of the last damage from Death Rip. And there you go. Hmm. A kill there. Benko jumping in, getting really darn low, and Nor picks up that kill in the process. Risky. Risky plays from both sides. Huh. Yeah, but Jin oh, moves his coming to the in. back. Oh, double flash. Teleport coming in from top. Slether joins the party, gets stunned into place, jumping onto Chumzer. Chumzer getting really, really low, but Angels is here for the save. Ult comes down too late from Angels, though, to actually save <laughs> to save Chumzer. Sliver getting really, really low. Is he able to peel Leona off of him long enough? Yes, he can. But, but oh, now, another TP. Oh, another TP, but... Ooh, Angel's getting stuck in the place. Death Rip is looking for some revenge, but are you sure you want to be there? Yes. He picks up that kill and revenge shall be his, he said. <laughs> yeah, lots of TPs burned there. But <laughs> in the know. end, it's like Easy Visual is taking it here. It did a positive trade this time because they, they lost the last skirmish. So they, they won this one with 3-1. Uh, so they did a pretty good job. And now we see like the damage spike of the mid and late game. But said there is in a bit of trouble. He's going to get slow there. Oh. Yeah, goodbye, Zed. Yeah, goodbye, You're not going to get out of there. Nope. I don't know, they're performing quite well, but both teams are making quite risky plays. Yeah, the problem is, though, like right now, ECV is kind of on the outscaling uh, team setup, so yeah. the fact that Vanko is not winning this, well, in this early in, in these early stages is kind oh, of worrying. Oh, there you go. Gets burnt. Damn, Night Sniper again! Yes, they're relentless to Night Sniper, but they at least they got Yofu in the process. Well, there goes Chums are really low. Double kill for Zedded, however. And Angel's just hunting down our poor Rise. And wow, Venko's putting on the pressure. Like, they're turning around team fights. They initiated pretty well, but they're just not having it. Yeah, they're bringing it back right now, getting a couple kills in return, and actually picking up a turret here. So they Dragon are performing is... pretty good. Also, Dragon is live right now, so you know they could go they for could, it. They could take this turret, but oh, Jimmy Wu getting caught out could be quite dangerous. But here is Zedit. Zedit puts the bind onto Zether. Zedit getting really, really low. Is he able to get make something out of this? He gets ow, no. He's not going to get anything off. Not getting anything out of it. Was he was getting quite close though to both, getting them both quite low. Liver was trying uh -oh. to push that top lane. He has okay. Yufu coming behind him, but he can't get out of dodge pretty quickly. Slow down that Leona. Fighting, yes yeah. please. So it is 16, 16. It's even in kills, but it's not even in gold because East Visualized managed to take more turrets. However, uh, 
the two dragons that have been taken have been taken by Venko. So perhaps they can use that as a late game scaling uh, opportunity and uh, use that if they if they can stall this game out long enough, they can use it as a sort of a win condition. Uh, so that sets them up pretty nicely. But now they're behind just a bit. Uh oh. Uh oh, Norb. Norb dashes over the wall and nope, don't wanna. Please no. Ooh, Jim, we're getting caught out of position. Gets burned down really, really low. And good night. Nicely done. Pick off and like totally out of position. Yeah, really a bad spot there for Jin. We know someone is available for him either, so no way for him to flash away or, sorry about that, to teleport oh, away. But he is getting hit with the ult and going down instantly. Sliver opens up the ult to maybe peel off for him, but it just isn't enough. You who is just looking for blood, it's stunning Deathrip into place. Deathrip forced to flash and take the lantern from Dredge to back away. Both these teams are just relentless. Yeah, I mean, they spotted Fiora as well. They were busy pushing the bottom line. They knew he used the CP earlier, so they could go for the 4v4 engage here, and they did. And at least they picked up a kill on Tenorb. So once again, equalizing the kills here and not giving any centimeter or whatever yeah, they're, room. They're, uh, they're giving no quarter at all. Both sides are like, just take. If they give, they take again. It's like, yeesh. So Angel's actually picking up that blue ball for himself. Not gonna give it over to his mid lane and set it. So that's that's a bit weird. It's a bit strange. I mean, uh, yeah, the Kindred not that minor hungry, but I guess he's kind of uh, eight ish. But uh, you know, like I mean, that is eight three and one. You wanna you wanna give him every opportunity to carry, in my opinion. I must say that uh, set it and uh, <laughs> their jungler is getting. Are getting quite scary. See the damage they put down on Rise and like even the other tankier ones. It's like Trash just get gets blown up all the time. Yeah. Even though he go he goes in with a nice initi nice initiates though. Going onto Zedder, Zedder get caught out of position. Angels coming in too, and he forced to flash over the wall into safety. Oh, looks good efforts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I do feel like if if Zedder if Zeta really wants to carry, he needs to get some magic penetration. He has the Sorcerer Boots, and if you actually get an engage onto Sliver. Ooh, Sliver getting caught out, flies, uh, takes the Lantern, Deathrip takes down Leona. Deathrip himself is getting pretty darn low, though. Jimhu coming in from the back, Angel's going, gets out of the battle. Deathrip goes down eventually as well. Who would have mess? Ezreal picks up a double kill, and now they're on the hunt. Yeah, they want to finish oof, off the oof. last kills, and it, it was really Sliver managing to peel away and stay in the back line. It was the Kindred ulti once again making a, a big difference there, almost managing to uh, turn, around let the, yeah, turn it around. But in the end, Sliver just shooting that message shots from the back line, being able to do his damage as he pleases. And uh, yeah, there you go. Two more tours going into the hands of Isu Visualize, putting them at about 4,000 gold lead here in this game. Uh, oh, 3,000 actually, yeah. <laughs> it's swapping up a bit, you know, whatever. That's all right. No worry. <laughs> oh, man. So <laughs> we do have a very close game in our hands, but it is up to Venko to get some more turrets. They have only two turrets uh, against the five from East officials, but they might go for a Baron here. I think Venko kind of caught on to the Baron tactic that uh, they usually do around this time of the game. Because every time when we're come, we, we come near the 20 minute marks, they start to heavily con check the Baron pit and just the warding in that area. Yeah, I mean, they might have had an opportunity there because a lot of the members from East Visualize were forced to go base. So perhaps if they were really bold, they could have rushed it down because they have 280 carries because they, they, they have Lucian Kindred. So. Uh, Good champions to chunk that one down, but not going to risk it right there. It is, of course, a uh, well, risky move, so you don't really, well, at this stage of the game, you don't want to give them an opportunity to kill a lot of members, and Death Rip is in a bad Death Rip, spot. Really, but really bad it? spot. And nope. But instantly, the response, okay, we see two members bottom. We're going to go for that Baron, but they're going to have scary. to fight for it. Mm -hmm. oh, go Jinwu going in. Norb getting quite a lot of damage. Zedder is tanking Baron right now. Doesn't want, I don't think they want to be here. Jinwu almost going down, but getting stretched by the ultimate. And Yofo has forced to back away. Oh, 
You were so close. So close. But they actually managed to keep Baron ag aggro, so it didn't regenerate, and they picked that one up. So that's another yep. two kills here for easy visualize, and they picked up the Baron. Nicely done. Uh, they're gonna head back to base, spend that lovely cash. They do have quite a half to lead. Most of it is in the hands of Sliver. Like I, I already pointed out, he's like one of the big, uh, the big carries right now for Easy Visualize. Doing a lot of it, the damage uh, is of course 10 to annoying. Kind of a ridiculous score for this game. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be up to him for now. Dragon has spawned. Dragon is live. So will Benko go for another dragon attempt here? Not sure. I mean, I think I think this time EZ, I think EZV wants to contest this one because clearing out wards right now. Yep. Yeah, this is like the time ECV gets control back on this game. I mean, they have Baron, of course. So uh, as a team, you want to go for that three one one split. As we can see right now, Zedder in the bot lane, uh, Defrip in the top lane, and the rest of them chilling out in the mid lane. But they have to be careful because they can go for a fight. They're looking for a fight right now. Norb is sneaking right there in the jungle, boys. Oh, 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 Angel's getting hooked in. Needs to pop ultimate, but is burned with that ignite. But gets away. Nice. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that, that's that's a kindred ult down. So basically going to get put a lot of pressure onto this tower. Ult going down onto Sliver. Everything gets poured up on. Ult from Trash goes down. Yofo gets burned down because he flew in onto oh. Sliver. Death blew up Chumzor. And Deathrip himself gets blown up by Zedd. It's, it's like a, uh, it's like a comedy. <laughs> Rinse, repeat. Nice, nice. Sorry, goes down as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, Ezreal on a roll. Yeah, and nobody is able to burst him down or catch him or whatsoever. So he's 12 to and 12, which <laughs> and is. He's a... dancing right there. Yeah, they know. They know what time it is. They are gonna finish up this game because there's yep. no way. That Vanko is going to be back alive anytime soon. So that does it for this last uh, semi final of the winner's brackets. And it's going to go to the team of East Visualize. Yep, nicely played. Lots of action. Lots of back and forth. It was quite a, uh, it was a tense game. Yeah, I mean, Exciting you can see well. it. You can see it in the scoreline. It's like 22 to 27 kills. So they were only up a couple of kills, but they, they once again, they, they made it up in objectives. It was a bit of a risky composition. They kind of went for the late game scaling comp. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it could have gone massively wrong, actually. So a bit of a risky move for them. But in the end, they take the win uh, pretty nicely here. So good job to them. They're going to be in the finals up against Enigma, which we're going to see after this. I'm actually... Gonna check the time here. All right, it's 10 to 19:20. Okay, it's, I think that they said they wanted to do the finals at around uh, half past seven or eight o'clock. We'll have um, to see. It's gonna be most likely eight o'clock because they want to have a break. Yes. But in any case, guys, uh, let's gonna have a little break. We'll see you. I'll let you know. Uh, we'll let you know when it's gonna start. It's gonna be around eight-ish. Uh, but we'll let you know in the stream title. So please keep mind that one. Uh, once again, thanks to Razor for organizing the tournament uh, and our own sponsors here, ISO for the screen, Speed Seats helping us out here, and uh, of course, Aces with the Strix uh, keyboard and the mouse, mouse here. So yep. thanks to them. Thanks to you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in a bit. See you in a bit.